all the holidays are expensive if you're a gamer. Yeah, it's hard right now to keep up with all the latest releases, especially this time of the year. So many great games are coming out, but at this point, when you get tired of pulling your wallet out and throwing the money at the screen, what do you do? Well, thankfully, for those of you looking for a fresh experience that isn't going to break the bank, here are my favorite free-to-play shooters of 2018 leading into 2019. Now, one of these is a third-person shooter. I bet you can't guess what it's gonna be, but I wanted to say these are the favorite that I played. There's a lot of really good free-to-play games out right now, so if yours doesn't make the list, come on, cut me some slack and just tell us about it in the comments down below. All right, let's go. First up on my list is Iron Sight. This is the closest to a Call of Duty direct competitor you're gonna find in the free space. This game is a lot of fun. I put a decent chunk of time into it with my friends over the course of this summer. I desperately wanted them to release the game before Black Ops 4 came out, just so that they could get a little bit momentum behind them. As it stands, the game is still in this weird open beta period. And if it stays there for a long time, I'm worried it could just you know, lose all momentum and stall out there. There's so many games that can just literally live forever in alpha or beta state. And this is a lot of fun. To be honest, if they could get Iron Sight released on the consoles, it would offer a legitimate free competitor to the more premium COD titles. This is like an old school COD. There's no wall running, there's no double jumping, and a lot of things are just lifted straight up from Call of Duty. However, the time to take down is a little bit longer, and that for some takes a while to get used to. Additionally, this game has struggled with netcode issues from the early days of the summer until now. I know the developers have been putting effort directly into improving it over time, and they actually are quite active in their scene. They've got an affiliate program. Like, I know these guys want to see Iron Sight succeed. It's worth your time. It's worth checking out. All I can hope for, though, is that Iron Sight actually gets a full release here soon and can address some of those netcode issues that they've struggled with since the earlier days. But overall, Iron Sight, very fun game. Check it out. Speaking of a game that has had a weird alpha to beta to paid to free journey, it's Quake Champions. Quake Champions is a really darn fun representation of Quake in the modern era. Yeah, it brings in the hero elements because that's what you did three or four years ago. Everybody wanted to have the hero shooter so they could be like, look, Overwatch people, come over here and play. But ultimately, Quake is still Quake, and Quake Champions is still a good Quake game. And now, as of a few months ago, it is free. You can hop in there and you get the chance to play a couple of the champions. And what I like here is, no matter how much you play, you never feel like you're at a large disadvantage because maybe you haven't unlocked three or four other champions. It makes it very balanced in the sense that the different champs have unique play styles, and you can sort of be good with all of them, essentially. Yes, there are others that are going to dominate higher up in the meta, but Quake Champions is super fun, super fast, hard to get into. I will say this, Quake is a game that you're gonna get beat up. You're gonna have to play and grind and get absolutely demolished by the experienced players before you can get over the initial learning curve, that hump. But when you get over that hump, it becomes a very addictive title. One of those things where when you get taken out, you always feel like you have the ability to improve and get better, right? I find it to be a game where you're not mad as much at like your lack of experience and more so desiring to improve and learn and become one of the experienced players. But I know for a lot of people, Quake Champions is gonna just be a bit too hardcore if you are one of those players that comes home and just wants to chill and relax and Quake Champions is gonna require a bit more from you, but it's in a good state and I would like to see this thing carry forward. Quake is such a, prestigious name, and I just hope that they can continue putting effort and improving the game moving forward. If you are looking for that chill, come home after work epic experience, look no further than Planet Side 2. Planetside has been around for a long time. I remember playing Planetside 2, I think back in like 2012 or something like that, streaming it on my absolute garbage computer. And the game has, well, improved, but not really changed the core philosophy since then. And that's good because this is space battlefield for free. Space battlefield for free. Yeah, you do the math, it's pretty sweet. 
aerial combat, ground vehicle combat, and of course infantry all mixed together in a giant player count. Three factions all fighting over territory. These battles go on for hours and hours and hours, and you just have these epic tug of war matches over small parts of the map. Group play is where it is at. If you get into Planet Side 2 and you can get into a clan or a big squad and actually work together to take points, it becomes incredibly satisfying. And it has a dedicated player base that genuinely fuels rivalries between the three factions. And while there are premium benefits for pushing money towards a game, I think Planet Side 2 does a fantastic job letting you experience the game, have a ton of fun with it, and then you get to decide if you want to support the dev further by investing money into the title. Everybody should at least play Planet Side 2 once, in my opinion. Next up, we're going to talk about Warface. This game has been around for a really long time, but I wanted to mention that they do actually have a cooperative mode that lets you actually complete missions while playing as a team. I don't have a whole lot to say about Warface other than it's been around for a really long time and there is still a group of people who really enjoy it. Depending on your region of the world and what time you're playing, I don't know how full the experience is gonna be for you, but Warface is at least worth checking out as the developers are still pushing marketing dollar towards it and updating the title. And finally, yes, I know it's third person but sometimes you gotta do stuff with the YouTube title so you're saying like FPS instead of like shooter, all that jazz. It's Warframe. Of course it's Warframe, you guys. This third person action adventure RPG shooter game is phenomenal. I've talked about it here on the channel for years. I've had guides now on the channel for, well actually a year and a half, I think. And I've fallen in love with this game. It's pulled 200 hours from me and I could easily put 200 hours more into it. Be aware, new player experience is horrible. If you're gonna go into it, you need to commit to watching a guide series and getting into the groove. Once you're past the initial five to six hours and you get your feet under you, it is one of the best free games ever made. I think it's one of the best models ever created in terms of the free to play system. You can earn in-game platinum, which is the real world money currency thing, just by playing the game, dude. Like just by accumulating rare components and selling them on the market. Digital Extremes, phenomenal developer. There is just, oh man, Warframe's awesome, guys. Please, please, please. If you play one game from this list, check out Warframe. Those are my favorite that I put time into this year. Did I miss any of your favorites? Let me know about it in the comments down below. And I'm gonna be looking towards 2019. Are there any new free-to-play games like this on the horizon that I should be aware about and maybe talk and cover here on the channel? Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for you guys shouting out on the community tab. If you don't know, I do little polls over there asking you guys what kind of video you want to see next and getting your feedback about the future of uploads here. If you enjoyed, please subscribe for more. Hit the little alarm bell because the sub boxes have been a little borked as of late. Follow me over on Twitter at BBK Dragoon. I love to talk with you guys over there. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk with you again very soon.